Welcome back to my channel. This is Ranji Raj, and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So today, let us see what is the cause-effect diagram in the software testing and quality assurance. So in my previous video, you can check out there uh, that I have discussed the decision table testing. So that's a bit complicated problem. A uh, smaller version of that is the cause-effect graph. So in that we had the conditions and uh, effect or the conditions and actions. Whereas in this we have the causes and effect and we don't have to uh, determine or write any test cases. Instead we have to draw one graph that is called as the cause effect graph. So in this problem we will see how to draw such a graph based on a simple table. Uh, not uh, much columns will be there just on the causes and effects that we get from this problem. So no waiting we have to start this so let us start uh, that there is a print message which is a software basically uh, that reads two characters and depending on the values a message is to be printed so uh, there is some conditions laid out so the very first condition is that the very first character that the very first uh, or the input that is to be fed it must be a or b that is it should be an alphabet and the second condition is that the second character should be a digit that is compulsory the third condition is that if the first character is a or b and the second character is a digit then the file must be updated and for the first character if it is incorrect then message x to be printed and the second character is incorrect then y is to be printed the problem is simple now we have to design one table like in the decision table testing, we have designed the uh, conditions and actions stuff. Like in this, we have to design the causes and effect table. So let us start. So first we have the causes here. So that is basically we have thing C1, C2 and C3. That is three causes and effect we denote it as E1, E2 and E3. So the very first condition is that uh, the character should be A, that is first digit is A and second condition is that the very first uh, character, the very first character should be B or the second is a digit and in this it would be file update message x message y so these are the conditions and its respective effects it is causes and effects so let us start so first in this also the rule which we design is based on the input conditions that we get uh, like we have done in the decision uh, testing so in this also we have this r1 r2 r3 R4, R5 and R6. So we have got 6 rules. So we don't have to design any test cases like we did in the decision table testing. Instead we will draw one graph that is called as the cause effect graph. Okay. So first is that we will uh, give the input as the uh, character. But if the very first character is A, it is obviously that uh, it can take any character B. So it is false. And if the second character is a digit, that is true. Then we update the file. So to update a file, we will add it as a cross. Like we did in the decision table for the action steps. And these two will be not applicable. Like in this, we have only true or false. In that decision table testing, you can see that video. Uh, we had the indeterminate state also, so that is not there. That makes this problem very simpler. And now we move on to the second rule that if the first character is not A and if it is B and the second is a digit, then we update the file like from here. And the third condition is that uh, if the first character is not like if it is not character A, if it is not character B, and if it is not character C also, 
then in that case it would fail in the very first condition that is c4 condition that if the first character is incorrect then the software will read the very first input and based upon that it will update or print the message x that is this would be printed and this would not be applicable similarly if this is false and in that condition if uh, this is true and if this is false like the very first condition is failing so it would print as x and it will do the rule 4 next in the uh, rule 5 we have the second digit that the second digit if it is to be incorrect then it has to be false so first we will write here false in that case if this is true then the very first character is a and this cannot be true at both the time so it will print as y and so this is cross and if this is false and if this is false and the second character is true and in that case also it will construct a y so this is the table that we design or this is the rules based upon the rules we get the uh, or actual inputs to design the cause effect graph now from this we will actually design the cause and effect graph so let us do that So in this we have three conditions that is C1, C2 and C3 and we have three effects that is E1, E2 and E3. So this is file update that is FU admin as file update. This is X and this is Y and this is character A, this is character B and this is digit any digit from 0 to 9. This is just for representative purpose. Actually, you have to draw this C1, C2, C3, and even into E3. Uh, next, based upon this, we'll design uh, the graph or the flow to this, or the connecting links. How the links are connected? It reads that if the very first character is A or B, and the character second character is a digit, then the file must be updated. In that case, only it will update. So we'll join these two. That this or this that is there is a cup here and so we join it by a connector and it goes to the file update and also uh, one condition is that the second character should be a digit or the second input should be a digit so we'll move this here and we'll join these two and this is joined by an AND sign and it will go to this this you can point to here that is if the uh, first character is A or B and the second input is a digit then the file should be updated next is that if the first character is not A or B then we can directly join this we can point this directly from here if this or this is not the case so for that we denote it by a not sign so this represents a not basically and these are the connectors so it's simple the logical operators we use to denote the cross effect graph and the final is that uh, simple that is the second input is not a digit then it will print as y so it is redirected here and we denote it as a not so this is all about the cause and effect graph in this software testing and quality assurance so it's just a simple problem it's not so big like in the decision table testing we did based upon the conditions and action steps so these are the causes and these are the effects for this causes so it's very simple so this is all about the cause effect graph in software testing and quality assurance so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe Thanks for watching this video. If you have any queries or comments related to this problem, please put it in the comment box below. Thank you.